Hey, good morning, villagers. It feels so good to have rested another night, getting ready for our journey. I appreciate you guys letting me stay here for a while. This was a great place. I love what you have here, but it's time for our next voyage. So with that, I am off. See you later. Oh, I guess he was ready to go before I was. All right, with those goodbyes, we are ready to say goodbye to this area, pick a new direction, and get going. Well, maybe we'll pick a new direction. Maybe we'll keep going south. Maybe we'll go east. But either way, it looks like we have something epic between the trees over here. And if we just jump around this side here, there are some purple trees. Man, it is a hard decision. Do we go that way? Or that way now looking on the mini map it looks like it might be kind of the same landscape just with some different trees over there there's a whole bunch of purple so let's go that direction and see what we can find all right this is looking pretty awesome this has got to be what kind of wood oh it's not gonna tell me unless we break a piece we'll break it and put it back because i don't know that we need it and that is what color Oh, kind of like a white, maybe a little bit of pink. Wow, that's a pretty cool tree. Now, some of this, if we decide we're going to start building at some point, we're going to have to remember that's there. We got that. We got regular oak with some kind of a leaf. All these fun little purple things. Lavender. Nice. Oh, this is what I love about Biomes of Plenty. There are so many different plants, so many different looks. Ooh. And it looks like a type of village that we already saw in last episode. So we'll probably skip that one. But let's see if we can find anything else around here. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. I was just following the chicken and noticed that there's something there and another windmill. Man, there are so many different things on this map. I want to see what this is. It looks like a bridge. Now, is there actually anything around this or is it just maybe a ruin? Maybe you're just a ruin. Anything inside? Nope, looks like it's completely filled. All right, so nothing for us to really explore other than that's kind of a cool bridge. It would be really fun to actually make into something. But we're just going to keep venturing on and see what else is out here. All right, this looks like a pretty big area of lavender. Now we're just going to keep kind of running through here. Hoping, man, I was going to say, hope we found something soon. But we did. We found another village. And getting closer to this village, it looks like it's maybe an Asian village. Oh, yep. There we go. Oh, this is looking pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen something like this before. And it's right here through the lavender fields. Now, can we actually find anything that's valuable in here? Is there going to be a whole bunch of food again? Um, Some sticks. I don't know if we need anything from a Fletcher. Oh, that is a cool idea. Or an Asian house is using half slabs. So it looks like the beds are kind of like rolled out on the floor. I love that. That's why I love playing in this series. So many ideas of how people build that can really inspire my regular building. More food. A cool gateway. That's pretty awesome. And a waystone. I love that all these villages have waystones. We can remember that for later. And if we ever want to come back for inspiration, there you go. All right, so this seems like a cool little village. Nothing more than maybe inspiration, or if we later wanted to build in this style, perfect place for us to do it. So to help me kind of understand, oh wow, that is a big ravine. That is crazy. But to help me kind of remember this, I'm going to do a quick fly over here so that we can see what this village looks like from up above. And from that flyover, you can see this village is pretty cool. It looks like the sun's about to go down. So we're going to sleep and let's maybe look for something a little more epic than just a village. I'm hoping for a little bit larger structure. So we're going to go to sleep and then we'll see what we can find. And with the new morning, we are ready to go out and venture. So goodbye to the Asian village 
and hello hopefully to our next fun place to stop now looking up here on the hill we have about the same type of terrain we've had oh it always makes it hard to know do we go over that direction over on this now can we see anything from our maps i don't know let's at least go across this water and see if there's anything maybe over in those hills a look at these trees oh i love colored trees i wish regular minecraft did this because i feel like it just adds so much oh man i keep saying what direction we're gonna go now well, look at these trees those are super creepy i've seen these before in one of my other modded series and i think they are the coolest wood and this biome is like completely this dark purple almost gray what is this wood called i forget boom brown i don't know but it is a purple wood it is so beautiful you can make some very awesome builds out of it but this is not what we're trying to do we're looking for structures oh boy a wither rose did not expect that oh yeah this is exactly what i love i love the like these transitions between them and another village man we keep finding villages i want to find some other structures so i'm just gonna go through this if there's something cool i'll show you but if not we're just gonna keep journeying on okay so there hasn't been very much that's been cool in here other than a furnace we have this is the first furnace we've been able to find so we're taking it with us because we're trying not to craft a lot of stuff so I'm taking that. We're taking some of the emeralds. Eventually we are going to be able to trade with some of these guys. But yeah, this village is, there's pretty much nothing here. I think the sun's about, oh no, it's, we still have plenty of time. But I'm going to just finish wrapping this one up and let's get on our way. All right, guys, I spoke way too soon. This village is better than I thought. There is a saddle. Oh man, that's going to be so much better. We can get that horse. Anything else in here? Nope, but that is going to be a game changer. Now we just got to find a horse. There were so many at the beginning. We've got our saddle now, so we can ride around a little quicker. And as we wake up and it's a new day, I realize that as here on the outskirts, there is some weird structure here. Now I gotta be careful because I have no clue what this thing is. Is there a front door? Is there a side door? I don't know, but look at this waystone. Why is it dark? Uh, okay, waystone is activated. It's unnamed. Can we do anything with it? Nope, I don't think so. So that's our home. That's this one. And what is this? Now, I, luckily I slept in that bed, so hopefully if we die... Oh, a major trail of strength. Trial of strength enter a shrine okay let's see what's in the shrine um a water column down and up let's check make sure i have all my armor on okay i guess we're doing it this is kind of sketchy what is this i assume it the trial means it's a trial chamber see i'm looking on my mini map seeing if anything pops up Oh boy, a whole bunch of rooms are popping up. Now, is there an actual way out of here? Um, oh, a door right there. All right, get across that. Let's definitely put some torches. Oh boy, what kind of spiders? Regular spiders? Okay guys, do we take this on? Okay. I think we're going to. Let me put all my stuff in a crate just in case. And let's take this on. Okay, we set our bed. We're res we've are we got a respawn point set. Let's go in and see if we can conquer this room. If I can even get in the door. Okay, this place might not be too bad. I'm going to say that and then we'll see if we die. I don't mind these bigger spiders. They're not usually as bad. I think it's the cobweb that's more of the problem here. Okay, did we already defeat this? Oh no, there's a guy up there. Uh, let's see if we can get to him. 
Okay. Did we do it? Was it that easy? It gave us an arrow and some string. Oh man, that's kind of lame. But that's okay. We at least conquered this room. Now these are so cool. I love this. Having these custom ones. Uh oh, I can already hear a zombie. That one's all lit up. Oh man. Don't tell me those. If those are poisonous, we're out. I can't tell. Can you guys? Yep, yep, they're poisonous. We're out. I am not doing that just yet. We don't have good enough armor. Oh, but looking at that mini map, like, let's see where we're at. It looks like there's a few more rooms. This is going to be a fun one, but guys, I am not ready for this. We are not geared up to take on that just yet. So I'm going to put this on our map so that we remember where it is. And we're going to come back to this one. Okay, I'm guessing you guys didn't come here just for me to go down there and totally wimp out. So I went and got some milk. We got a shield. Are we ready to take this thing on? I have no clue, but we're jumping back in and we're going to tackle it. Because that's what we came here for, is entertainment. So let's go see if I can stay alive. And with all of our stuff in a chest, I think we've got it. Uh... I don't know. Hopefully this is enough. I better put some backup food in there in case. Let's reset our spawn. Oh boy. And now have I been gone long enough? This is going to be reset. I don't think so. So let's jump in. Yeah, that's not going to trigger. And let's go take on these cave spider spawners. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay, let's see what's in here. I don't know. Maybe we'll just be able to sneak right past this one. I think they're supposed to come out. Oh, why is there food? Maybe we conquered it by going away and coming back. I don't know. That's pretty funny if we did. I hope it wasn't that easy, but let's go see if there is. Oh, this whole thing is spiders. Ooh, there's even some cool cobwebs. All right. Let's get a torch in here. Don't let me die. Okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. I don't think that was supposed to be how it happened. Oh no. <laughs> Are we going to die? Oh, we definitely need better gear than this, guys. Okay. Sorry, keep being quiet. This is more than I expected. Okay. We're doing all right. Did we clear both of them? I think we at least cleared one of them. Helps if you put torches down. What is in there? Some copper, maybe? All right. I guess that's good. What was this one? I think this one's still spinning. I think that one's just a spider spawner. Where is he at? He's somewhere in here. Ooh, there's some cool stuff up there. I love how this has changed. Oh, there he is. All right, let's see if we can get him to come down here. Nope, not going to come down, but does that open this? Oh, yeah, gave us some emeralds. All right, well, I don't want to say this too soon, but maybe this wasn't as bad as I thought. I just hope the other ones don't reset before we get over there. So let's cut ourselves a way through here. What is going to be in here? Hello? Oh, that's just a place to put a key. All right, sweet. Was there something else? Oh, no, that wasn't too bad. Man, look at me wimping out and it actually wasn't too bad. So let's see what's in here. Maybe there's a key so far. Oh no, but we got a diamond. Oh, that's going to be so helpful. We need a lot more of them, but that's kind of why I want to take on these different places. Let's see if we can get some of this different loot. That's going to get us what we need to gear up to be a little bit better. Now, is there anything else up in here? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. 
I said we weren't going to mine much, but we are taking this. That's too good to pass up. Because who knows when we're going to need to enchant something. So perfect. That is that one. And what I want to see is if there was a different spot to go up back here. It felt like there was. I keep hearing zombies and I can't figure out where they are at. So I'm wondering, is there more to this room that we're not seeing? But I don't know. I guess we're breaking some of it. Oh, and it's the first time we got cobblestone. Is there anything else up here? Nope, just a really big room. All right, so I was hoping this thing was going to be a little bigger. Hoping to figure out where that zombie was. But man, I got us way too uh, overexcited. That was going to be somewhere we were going to die. And it wasn't too bad. Cool. All right, well, I think that makes this place easy enough to check off our list. We conquered it. We can get all of our stuff. And I think we still have a little more time to go venture and see if there's another cool structure. All right, all packed up. I think we are ready to go back up. Now, these are pretty cool. I'm hoping that there's different kinds because that was a really cool spider one. So I'm interested to see if we find any more of these, what they might look like. And it is time to sleep. So put down the bed and then let's go up and see where we should go next. We keep going kind of a, an east and kind of a south. Let's see if there's any kind of hints up here. It looks like there's another village over there, which I don't think we want to do another village. I want to see if we... Oh, there's two more villages. But I want to see if we can find something different. So I might put down my bed up here. And... Yeah, I don't know if I want to go snow. So let's go south and see if there's anything through the redwoods down there. And looking at these cool trees, we came across... Yeah, another village. Wow, but this one looks like it's different than the ones we've seen before. And before we get there, look at this, mushrooms and other stuff growing on logs. Oh, that's such a fun addition. Now, as we approach the city, I want to watch for horses and dogs because y'all, I'm getting lonely. I'm out here wandering all by myself. I wouldn't mind having a horse or a wolf that we can tame into a dog so that we have someone that will keep coming on the adventures with us. Now, I don't know if this city... Oh, that has a big hole under it. I don't know who built their house there. But I don't know that this one has much in it. It looks like it's pretty small. We'll watch for a couple different people. Iron Golem. Yep, well, I'll do my normal ransack. And then I think we're getting to some water. Ooh, and some ice. So we might be able to voyage and see what's out there. So nothing real exciting. We did find a little more iron here, but I think that is kind of it. Oh, there's still some more, but I think that's kind of it for this area. Looks like we have some kind of a stone cutter. Maybe he's got something cool. A stone block. Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys have been good hosts, but I'm out of here because I realized that there is a whole new biome over there. And I say, let's go check that out and see what's over there. Made it to the top of the hill, and I'm not really seeing anything that we haven't seen before. Definitely some cool trees. Ah, we really got to get these leaves into regular Minecraft. But with that being said, I do think we're going to go over there and see if that was snow or if it was sand and see if that's another cool biome. All right, back in our boat voyaging. And this place is looking so barren. I'm really curious if this is a cold or a warm. Being right next to the cold feels like it would be weird to be warm. But let's see what this place is. So it looks like it is a snowy biome still. Oh, gotta be careful of not falling in holes. But I can't tell. Maybe this is just a gravel patch. That's gonna be pretty cool. If we ever need gravel, we can definitely come back here. But since we're voyaging so much, I don't know if we will. Oh, and a little village. Now that one looks like it's pretty much just a vanilla village, is it? Or is it modified? I can't tell. It looks pretty much like a normal one. But it did look like there's some kind of... Oh no. Oh no. We gotta get out of here somehow. Oh man. I forget all about this. Oh, and that's really deep. 
Um, do I have any building blocks to get us out of here? Not really, so we might have to dig our way out of this one. All right, we dug ourselves out, but I can hear a villager in there somewhere. He's getting cold. I don't even know if I dare walk on any more of this snow. So, is there a good way to get around it? Okay, this is what I was coming for. It looks like it's just a waystone. And so, maybe we'll do that. I don't know if we'll come back, but let's at least put it on our list. You don't realize how empty these vanilla villages are until you go through them and there's nothing in them. We couldn't find anything great here. So it is time to set out on one last adventure. Let's go find one more thing before we call it an episode. Wandering through a fir forest. I don't know if I was going to say that right. But it looks like there's a waystone for a fir forest. Um, Does that mean there's something else around here? I'm not seeing anything, so let's keep adventuring. And as I'm running through here, uh oh, polar bear, I'm realizing that maybe now we're getting away far enough from spawn that maybe things are going to be spread out a little bit more. Oh, and some cool white, are those white trees? I can't tell. But now I think we're starting to get a little farther away. Now it's going to be a real voyage. We're actually going to have to make some progress. And man, I wish we had bones. And as I'm getting ready to voyage out in the water, I realized that it looks like we have a sunken ship. Sweet. And I think we all know what that means. It is time to get out the, let's see if I can find it, the snorkel we had from last time. Let's see if I can put that on. Sweet. We've got that. We can put it on and go adventure and see what is in this shipwreck. Oh, and it looks like there's some more stuff over here too. All right, some iron, some emeralds. Let's see what's in the other side of this boat. Ah, man, nothing that we really needed. And on the other side, it looks like another buried treasure map. Let's see. Oh, and looks like we are close by. So that might be the end of our voyage for this one. Let's see if we can get to that buried treasure. Now, let's see if I can get my bearings. I believe that's east, and this looks like we need to go south. So, should be this way. Let's put it in our offhand so we can see a little better. Now, this is interesting. I don't know if I've seen a buried treasure not in the sand before. So, are we going to see some sand? Or, I guess, in the gravel is okay, too. Now, let's see here. We need to go down. It looks like somewhere in here... Let's just dig and see how much we have to dig out before we get there. Now I know somebody's going to say that there is some fancy method on how to find this with your F3 screen. But I'm trying to really do a lot of this is we're just trying to avoid kind of do things on our own without having to use all the tricks. Oh wow, maybe I will need to use the tricks because I don't know if we're going to find this one. All right, there we go. I started digging down this side and look at what we found. Ooh, some flippers. Improves agility in water. Definitely taking that, taking some gold. Uh-oh, we're running out of things to take. Potion of water breathing. We should probably take some of that. Now, I've got a pretty bad inventory. Do I even have any room? I don't know if we do. So, one of the cool things, and I guess this is a perfect time. We got that diamond, luckily. So, let's break out our smithing table. And this map, we're not going to need anymore. Let's just throw it on the ground. And one of the cool things is, with these backpacks, we can now bring it up here. Put another chest in. Put a diamond and we got another row sweet that's gonna be great um let's put some of this stuff in here that we know we're not gonna need for a while i'm gonna clear out this area and then i think we're gonna call it an episode but y'all that was a pretty good episode we found a lot of cool stuff and even tackled a modified trial chamber and so that was some fun that we could do and so now in the next episode we're gonna keep going on this voyage see where it takes us i'm not quite sure but until then this is uh scuba cube 
signing off and we'll talk to you soon.